Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this stack piling animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so I am in After Effects and first we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this one main. Width and height will be 19, 20 by 1080 frame with 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now we are going to create another composition for our elements so let's call this one vertical because this is going to be a very long comp so in, in the height 1080 and let's multiply it by 3 so we have this vertical composition like that now once you have this we are ready to add our elements so first let's add a background so let's add a solid background and i'm going to quickly make it a little bit like that just click on ok so here we have our background now we are going to add our elements which we want to stack so for that let's select the rounded rectangle tool and let's just click and draw a shape let's go inside this and search for roundness and i'm going to increase it quite a bit so that we have this shape let's move its anchor point is in the center now we have our base let's apply fill to this so we can change its color let's search for fill and let's drag it onto this now change this color to let's say blue so here we have our shape now you can select the text tool and just type whatever you want i'm going to type motion and let's just select the text and i'm going to make it like completely white let's select this and i'm going to align it in the center of this comp using the align panel let's select the shape layer and let's do the same thing with this one as well now we can select this text let's press s and i'm going to scale this down so that it is inside this now we can select the text layer and just parent it to this shape so now whenever we move this shape our text will move along with it so here we are done with our first shape and first let's align it where we want it to like animate this so let's just pick a really nice point and just place it over here so we basically want them to touch these edges so i think this looks good now once you're done with this we are ready to animate it by using the position keyframe so let's add a keyframe this is going to be a final position let's move this like little bit ahead now in the beginning i am going to like move it to little bit up there you go also let's press s let's add a keyframe for scale let's add the scaling animation so that it starts from 0 to 100 perfect so before we continue if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files exclusive templates and all the other advanced vfx and cgi tutorials that are available only on patreon so make sure to check them out link for that is in the description now let's continue now in this animation we are actually not able to feel the weight of this shape layer because we want to have a little bit of physics animation to it so that it bounces back as it is striking this surface so for that we can use a very nice expression so if you go to this website motionscripts.com I will put a link in the description or otherwise you can just go to this website and just scroll down until you find this expression which is this keyframe bounce back expression so just select this this entire expression just select this right click and just copy it after that you can come inside after effect now hold on the alt key or option key on mac and click on this stopwatch for the position now press ctrl v so it will paste the expression now if i press play you can see we are able to get like little bit of motion at this so we can enhance this by selecting this keyframe let's press f9 let's go to the graph and if your graph looks different then make sure you're using the speed graph not the value graph we're going to select this endpoint and just quickly change it to look like this also we can select these keyframes let's press f9 and let's change the curve to look like that so that our shape comes like this now as it is striking this you can see we have this very nice motion over here now if you move the keyframes closer it will like exaggerate this motion i'm going to place it somewhere around here not too close not too far so i think this looks maybe a little bit more perfect so here we have our first element now in the same way we are going to create other elements so for that we can just simply select these two layers let's press ctrl d to duplicate them let's move them to the top now let's select the top layer and i'm going to parent it to this shape layer let's select the shape press u to see the keyframes now let's go inside this now select both of these keyframes and just move them to like this different location so this time let's place it over here first let's press r and i'm going to like rotate it to this side and let's press u now just place it wherever you want i'm going to place it over to this side and now let's increase its size so we're not going to play with the scale we are going to increase the size let's elongate it so that it touches these corners let's press u let's select them and just move it so that it is 
over here now we can change its color as well let's make this one little bit darker and now you can change the text as well there you go now if i press play you can see we have both of these elements and they are really nicely animated now we don't want them to come at once we want to have little bit of delay so first this element will come and then this one there you go now there is one more thing that you can play around so for example if i open this expression we have a couple of things that we can play around so first is the gravity if i change this to 10000 now you will notice that we will have like lot less motion and it will feel like that this block is like little heavy so we which is exactly what we want because it is little bit bigger there you go now we can probably move it like little bit ahead like that now once you're done with this we can again duplicate these two layers and just simply move them to the top let's press u let's go to this point and let's select them and i'm going to like place one to just place it over here let's press r and just rotate it now you don't want it to be like this big so we can search for size and let's just lower it down let's increase its width there you go now on this one we can change the color let's make it completely white and for the text let's change it to this dark color perfect so we have these two elements now we have these three elements now let's parent it to this shape layer so now if i press play you can see we have these elements coming up now let's move it a little bit ahead and let's go inside this press u and again open this up we can change this back to 5000 this is basically going to have a little bit of variation into our scene there you go now we have these three elements and in the same way you can keep on going and keep on duplicating these elements and just placing them till you have like covered this whole composition and i'm going to quickly skip this part and i will show you once it is done so now i'm done with the elements and you can see if we have added bunch of different layers stacked on top of each other like that so in this way you can cover this entire composition like this and i've reused those elements so i made like this stack and after that i just duplicated that and just placed that similar one on top of it and also i have added some variations so if i press p you can see some of these will have different values so for example i played with the elasticity so it was 0.7 or 9 i just changed it to 0.6 just to have little bit of variation in the weights of these elements so you can play around with these variations to give it a really natural look so once you're done with this we can select our solid and we can like cut it so press ctrl x to cut it from here let's go to the main composition let's paste it over here by pressing ctrl v now it is quite big so we can press ctrl alt f so that it fits the entire composition now we can drag our vertical composition into this like that now let's place it to the very bottom let's press p for our position let's press play now you can see as these are stacking up we can start moving up so somewhere around four seconds we have all of them coming up so we can just move it to the top like that so now if i press play we have all of these elements stacking up now we can play around with the easing of these as well so let's select these press f9 to ease them let's go to the graph and i'm going to like change the graph to look like that now if i press play you can see we have these elements coming up and they are stacking on one on top of each other you have to play around with the timing of these positions so that all of these elements are always in the frame so once you're done with this we are ready to stylize this board by adding some long shadows which will actually make our animation look very professional so let's select this and on the bottom layer let's search for fill just drag it onto this let's change the color to completely black now we can search for an effect called cc radial blur let's drag it onto this layer under this we can change this to fading zoom and let's select its center point let's zoom out select its anchor point center point and just move it to this top position over here now we can increase the amount and you can see we have this very nice long shadows there you go now we don't want these shadows to be this hard so we can select this press t for opacity let's set the value to 75 so now you can see we have this very subtle shadows and if i press play you can see we have our elements coming up and we have this very nice shadow in our scene as well Again, you can play around with the timing of these. So let's select both of these layers and just add a little bit of delay so that these elements are in the frame. Now we have added all our elements with this really nice shadow. And all of this looks like they have some real physics built in. 
with the help of this expression. So this is how you can create this stack piling animation in After Effects. Now the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you're supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you're not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files, exclusive templates, and all the other advanced VFX and CGI tutorials that are available only on Patreon. So make sure to check it out. Link for that is in the description. And with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,